Alright guys, welcome back to another Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom gameplay and we are back in Kakarika Village. And I was just exploring the area and I thought it would be cool to go back to Kakarika Village and uh, there are a few clips that I didn't record which I'll put on screen right now. Uh, one of uh, Paya and her uh, room. Remember the journal that she had in Breath of the Wild? Well, here you go. Alright. I just made it to Kakariko Village. <laughs> <laughs> what? Anyways, Empire was simping like crazy. So, oh. Wait a minute, she got a secret diary down here. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> okay, so Pio is mad simping, and uh, and from her character profile, she has considerable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Anyway, she has considerable affection. <laughs> Considerable affection for Link. So we know she's simping. Alright. This is the diary of the chief. After literally just finding that... that uh... <laughs> <laughs> the hell I do, bro. Well, bro, not allowed to sniff. Um, But after finding that under her bed, I know this is probably going to be some formal diary or something. Because... Yeah, there's one under there. Anyways. I'm gay. One day. I was so frightened by the impact. Wow, this keeps going. Oh, that's interesting. Is she gay? Tentatively name the ruins that fell. Oh my god, this keeps going. Okay, bro, I don't think I can keep doing this. This isn't what we came here for. We came here for the juice. And that's what we're about to see under her bed. You know, I, I'm going to stop reading. Perhaps it's my side bro, effect. Bro, I'm gay, bro. Come on. <laughs> Perhaps it's my side effect of returning my to my previous form uh, from 100 years ago. Oh, this is Pura's diary. Not Pius. Not the gay woman? This is not the juice. Bro, oh, this isn't the juice. Come on, that we know there's some juice. Anyway. Bro, oh, there's no way. Paya has to have a diary somewhere. Wow. There's nothing. You need to shut up. I did nothing wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah, you existed and I'm done with it. Oh, she, she's she gotta have the juice, bro. She ain't gay? Uh, and I also have a lot of fabrics for my uh, paraglider, which I have not done yet, which I think that's in Hateno <laughs> Village. So there's a lot of stuff we can do today. I think I'm also gonna try to get the champion's tunic once again. Um, 
Yeah, and well, we'll definitely continue some of the story. There's uh, a few things we can do, actually. So you can go to Rito Village, Crisis, uh, the Hyrule Castle. You can go into the depths with Joshua and Robbie. And then Impa and the Geoglyphs. So we have a lot of things we can do. We'll probably go to Hyrule Castle. That's probably the one we'll work on right now. Oh, that's just a crisis on Hyrule Castle. But we will be going to Hyrule Castle to get some stuff, get the champion's tunic, and yeah. So I think what we'll do first is try to go to Atena Village, which if I recall correctly, is somewhere over here. We'll, we'll, we'll make a little journey over here. I th I'm assuming there's a there's got to be a tower nearby. I think. Um, is there a tower nearby? I don't know. We'll, we'll just keep going in this direction. Yeah. So we almost have two full stamina wheels. What are these people doing? We're hands on with the ring ruins at last. I cannot believe it. Um, Letty, this chunk is just a small piece of one of the ring ruins. Nothing much, really. I mean, compared to it, compared to the main size, like that ring ruin over there, it's broken in two. You can still see the full ring. Well, we can't visit that one by the order of Princess Zelda herself. No one's allowed to go anywhere near it. So isn't getting close up to this chunk here something at least? We can sweep up some fragments and sneak them away. We gotta study these ruins somehow, huh? Eh? Don't mind me, I'm just... <laughs> Definitely everything is just as I found it. Leaving everything just as I found it. Wait, you're not with the survey team, are you? Uh... Phew, I thought we were gonna get yelled at again. Oh? We really want to become members of the Zonai survey team so we can study the ruins. Did you know that the ring ruins have been found only in Kakariko Village and nowhere else? That's why the Zonai, tr Zonai survey teams have sent its specialists to examine them. We figured this is a great opportunity to learn all sorts of things. Mm. But Letty has been running all over the place looking at this and that, so we've gotten nowhere fast. Oh. Come on, I'm sorry already. But after we're done here, we want to see the stone slab found in each of the ring ruins. Huge discoveries, they say. Oh. Naturally. Let's see how many of the five ring ruins we can visit to see those. Cool. Well, I'll leave y'all to that. I'll come back here at some point because the ring ruins definitely seem of some importance. Oh yeah, the capsule is over here. Let's get some cow. Uh, how, how much zone ice charge do we have? A large zone ice charge. what I think it is? Whoa, what just rolled out of there? Sorry, I forgot. So strange. So the strange artifact was intended to produce Zonai vices, huh? But why would the Zonai people have built such a thing? Hmm. I could be, couldn't begin to guess. Yeah, me neither. Oh, I got a balloon. Stabilizer. A big wheel. Ooh. Nice. So this one gives... Huh. I'll take it. Yep. Got some ruins over here.
Uh, no, this is just a bunch of... Oh, can't do that, okay. Uh, let's just exit this way, I guess. Looks like there might be a tower in the distance. Yeah. I think we might go to that tower. Uh, we're just we're just gonna go. We can go straight to the tower. Alrighty. I could probably spot some shrines from up here. Oh, it's the big wheels. Oh, there's the Tano Village. There's my house. I was not that far off. Wow. There's my house right there. Okay, that's all the way on Zora's Domain. We're close to. I don't know if I really want to go over there. I'm just going to go to... Uh, over here. Got some... Oh. Got the steering wheel. Come on. Hopefully there's some... I want to drive this car. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Okay, okay. Which way does it go? This way, I'm assuming. Huh. Not really going anywhere. Oh, one of the reels isn't even on the ground. Looks like it's going the other way. Oh, I'm dumb. I'd be wondering why it wasn't going. That was very rude. We drive into my house, bro. I'm gonna put the pull up to, oh, put the whip on the function. Oh, That's gonna be awesome.
Okay. Okay. Okay, we're going the right way. Uh oh. Blood moon. Maybe don't go down the mountain. Oh god. Okay, I guess we might have to. Oh god. Let's go. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I miss. Oh, there's a cave here. Blood moon's about to happen. Uh, treasures leaps beyond this path, shown by the stone statues. There we go. Blood moon. In the glow of the blood. Shown by the stone statues. Huh. I don't know, we'll, we'll just we'll just take a deep dive. We'll see what happens. Oh. Ah, it's these horriblins. I just went. That's where I entered. That's no, that's where I entered.
Big circle. Okay, we got a lot of people to take care of. bombed. We shall try that again. Where's the bomb flower? a flame juju it kills you oh my gosh I did not remember that it's a tough fight we'll get them though we'll get them it's just a lot of enemies in a very small area Oh, 
We gotta get some ag clear. Alright, we're good, we got this. Just burn him up and we'll be good. Nice. I got him. That was pretty epic. I should have known that would happen. Where we live. Uh, so we go down below and use ascend. I'm assuming that's what this will be. Barbarian helm. Good stuff. That was good.
Now how do we get out of here? Just send up, I guess. Lovely. My car still here? Oh, uh, I lost the vehicle. It's okay though. Let me put that barbarian helm on. I look so goofy. Oh, I know where I am. Ah, oh, it's this guy again. I've seen it once before. <laughs> oh, oh, there's Addison, yep. and will support you. Yeah, sorry, I forget you forgetting to read. But, you know. That bro goofy. Alright, now we can go get our paraglider. Looking nice. Oh, that's one of those things. I wonder if it's still my house. Like, actually... Or someone is like taking it. I can make another vehicle. I'm so close though. Yeah, we'll do it anyway. Alright, one, two. Where are the other tires? Well, I always do it like this. No, 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 no. Oh, that's a little Korok, dude. What's going on?
all the way to Hateno Village. Here with me, bub. Oh my god. God, dude, it's impossible. There we are. Oh, my God. Okay. I could use my resources, but I don't really want to waste. This is so dumb. Got you. Yeah. Hip. 
Yeah, B, you're the first actually suspicious guy I've ever met. I could tell you as soon as I saw you. Oh, I'm not supposed to talk to suspicious ones. <laughs> Good job. Is bro following me? My dad told me not to talk to any suspicious folks, and that means you. That's me, suspicious. That's right, I remember you now. The suspicious guy, he literally just saw me. I knew you seemed as suspicious as the last time we met. Oh, but I'm not supposed to talk to the suspicious ones. Interesting. Seems like you are. Is that guy still here? I wonder. Where was that evil... I forget. visit my house in a minute. Yeah. You remember yeah. me, right? Welcome to Bahatana Village. Here for some sightseeing? The East Wind General Store is now open for business. If you're here for Atano Village's famous fresh produce, you're in the right place. Or, if you like the super cute CC hat, ah. you can hit the store across the Ventus clothing. They're featuring a new line of hats right now. Interesting. Thanks to Cece, this village is a place to be. She's drawing in so many tourists that her sales are going up too. Cece's putting our village on the map. Ooh. There I go. Oops. Shillings for clothing. Shop again. I can hear dad now. Just a whole business. Now are you promoting out there? Whose business are you promoting out there? Sorry. They still are gossiping? Bro, it's been six years. All right. <laughs> if you're looking to add some color into your wardrobe, you found the right place. How do you do? Welcome to the Kochi Dye Shop. Anyway, uh, where we live to die, <laughs> of course. If you have any dye ingredients, it's 20 rubies to dye an item. That includes our service charge, of course. Let's get going. When die, you're set up to get up to. Well, woo wee, that's a lovely paraglider you got there. Nowadays, not only do we dye clothes, but we also do fabric rework service. Bring me some fabric and I can rework your paraglider with some flying colors. Maybe the first time customer, but that's fine. We have a special introduction for new service for folks like you. Ta-da! Your very own introductory fabric. Mid. <laughs> have you ever dropped the? Have you ever dropped by by the Ventus Clothing at the village entrance yet? CC, the famous designer who runs the place now, cooked up the cutting edge design on this fabric. Every region has its own unique fabric and designs. Keep an eye out for them wherever you go. Think of me if you find some new fabric, will you? Won't you? We could rework your paraglider with it. For you to fly in the skies with style. I can't talk. I'm so dumb. Dying clothes through the color of your choice or reworking your paragliders with some new cloth. Either way, it'll take 20 rupees. Oh, oops. This is your first time reworking a paraglider, maybe. Don't worry, I'll do, I have to do, the, I'll do all the work. I can't speak. I'm so dumb. You just hand over the fabric and leave the rest to me. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Oh, nice. The Demon King. I think we're going to go with Mirror of Twilight right now. If you're fine with that one, it'll be 20 rubies. Yeah, yeah, I know. Hey! Sure. Setting the fabric, ready to launch. Oh, this is gonna be cool. That'll do her. 
Looking forward to the next visit. <laughs> now go out and paint the town red. I don't think you want me to do that. Nice. Oh, we got that done. All right, let's go check out of my house. See if it's still mine. I guess we can check the clothing shop. Oh, it's this guy again. Love's fire burns forever. What's the matter? You can tell me, weirdly handsome dude. You look like you've been places. Sure, things are peaceful in the old village, but it's a jungle out here and there in the world. That's why I stick here around... Oh, around here. Checking out the scene, making sure no strangers put on the moves on Miss Ivy. Wait, I mean... That's why I make sure no strangers come in the outside to disturb the, spe disturb the peace. Ivy? Uh -huh. You forgot. Miss. I always add the miss. Well, I'm not you. Miss Ivy's a poster girl for the East Wind General Store. So he's moved on from the hotel lady? Uh -huh. There's no problem if you want to talk to Miss Ivy. Just be, keep the naive. I just moved here. Won't somebody show me around act to a minimum. All right, bet. I got you. Not that anyone could be as young, guyish, or fashionique. Can't I can't speak as me. Uh, By the way, quick question for you, big guy. What kind of present do you think will make Miss Ivy at East Wind happy? I'm not asking for me, you understand? A friend of a friend wants advice, and I'm having a tough time with an answer. Obviously, I can't just go directly ask her. Let me know if you think of something. I'm, I could, I could. As I've said multiple times a day, I can't admit three customers at present. Oh. What do you mean? We took the trouble to come here, and now you're saying we can't get in? But I wanted to see CeCe's new stuff. It's not every day to meet a mega, mega famous person, fashion designer, uh, debut hey. material. Yeah, everything I heard said this was some of CeCe's best work. Oh. I'm so, so sorry. But we only have one entry ticket remaining. Mm. One ticket? So you're saying one person could go in? Yeah, that's going to be me. Mm -hmm. Hey, come on now. I can't just let one of us get a head start. <laughs> sure, I know that, but it was just a joke. Oh. Well, maybe if we come back later, we'll have room for all of us. Ah. Yes. It's not like this is the only clothing place in the village. What do you say? Kill some time at the dye shop. That's so funny. Not really. Oh, or we could check out the pasture. <laughs> Speaking of which, I heard the little ways. Oh, yeah, the ancient tech lab. I've heard that little ways up in the road pasture is a laboratory specializing in ancient stuff. Mm. Since we got all dolled up, we may as well hit the town and see it all. Exactly. Uh. Thank goodness they give up. Hmm? My, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Are you also a tourist who came to see my sister? I mean, new line of CC's products? Oh. As long as it's just you, you're free to go into the shop. CC herself is in there right now, in fact. Nothing you'll see is for sale. It's only an expedition right now. Sorry to disappoint. Fashion personnel only. No. Ah, another practical, perfect masterpiece. Practically. It is an exemplar of the form from every angle. This is the sort of thing on which I built my name and reputation as the world-renowned CC. Um? Uh -huh. Oh, pardon me. Are you an admirer here to meet the incomparable CC? I must say... You don't seem to show any sort of interest in fashion. Ooh. Maybe you're right. Welcome to Ventus Clothing, the only about boutique in the world which carries CC brand, if you weren't aware. No. 
You stand before the very woman who changed this fusty old village into the birthplace of a now of I can't speak fashion. As proof, I present you this. The CC hat. The newest, most magnificent work by yours truly. CC. It's not bad. Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> My brain just malfunctioned. This piece is so special that I dare not assign it a price. It's not for sale. I guess you know what I'm doing. Oh, who is truly worthy of owning it. <laughs> Only the most impressive fashionista. I, dude, there's going to be a fashion contest, isn't there? And Hyrule's trendiest village is worthy of such crown. Uh oh. What's all this about Hy Hyrule's trendiest village? I don't remember anyone approving new slogans for Ateno. Uh -oh. Ah, look who here. What could I do for you, oh esteemed Mayor Reed? Uh... I'm really sorry I tried to stop him from coming in like you asked, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. CC, mm. you gotta quit littering the village with your weird art pieces. Oh, snap. Maybe you don't realize what the plants need their sleep to. Those eyesores are bright at night that they are keeping the veggies awake. It's a real problem for the crops. Ateno's foundation is produce. What are we going to do if it fails? Aww. Now, now, dear. There's no need to get so worked up. I think some of the people here actually like her art, you know? Wouldn't it be better to hear her out? <clears throat> Don't fall for her line of twaddle. Oh, snap. She's got everyone in Ateno wrapped in her finger already. My duty is to look after the village, and that's what I mean to do. Uh -huh. Looking after the village, you say... Who, dare you, who do you suppose get to thank for Ateno's rejuvenation? Oh, snap. It didn't need rejuvenating. Ateno Village is a peaceful place where folks live quiet lives, and that's the way they like it. <laughs> do they? Then let us leave the matter to the people to decide. My avant-garde approach versus this mayor's quaint bygone ways. The citizens will decide which outlook will drive the future of the village. Wow. By holding a mayoral election. Wow. <laughs> Calling for a mayoral election? Sure, suits me. I'll win that pretty easy. Uh -huh. Sophie? I delegate management of the, of the mayoral election to you. Uh -huh. What? Come on, Flavia. I don't feel like sticking around here any longer. It's time we headed back home. Well, that happened. Oh, you uh -huh. again. We got a long to-do list in preparation for the mayoral election. Mayoral. I can't. I am really bad. And soon it goes, the sooner I get started, the better. No. Hmm. Answer should be going without saying. For you, of course. Ah, uh, yeah, undecided. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. You haven't get thrown in your lot with either candidate then welcome to team cc Ooh. that settles it it's a plane for all to see that i'm the shoe in for next mater no. so one would think yet there are stragglers in the village still supporting reed they need a mental makeover no. and so i have a fabulous plan to give out mushrooms to reed supporters uh -huh. mushrooms are synonymous with the cc brand uncle fashion is the cc way the mushrooms i give them will paint them inside and out with fresh, vibrant CC brand colors. Oh. Although Sophie and I must mind the shop, where will we find someone we can trust to carry out this vital task? No. There's the magic words I was waiting for. You're a lifesaver. Now then, you'll be needing these. Nice. Ooh. These mushrooms are for the village's Reed supporters. It's easy to recognize them with their unstyle by how unstylish they are. My supporters are all expert fashionita, fashionistas dressed to the nines in CC. Uh -huh. This should go without saying, but don't give one to any. Don't give one to anyone in Reed's family. I mean, I could. I'm kidding. No. There's no need to give them children, travelers, or any temporary residents like Shika researchers. That leaves us with, unless I'm 
miss my guess, total of eight read supporters. No. Your mission is simple, to give highly Shroom to each of those eight misguided voters. Well, off you go. Interesting. She saddled me with so much work when she put me in charge of the mayor election. Oh. Um, sir, I feel like I should apologize for dragging you into this mess I found myself in. But since we're both involved now, could you give me a little advice? Uh, okay, sure. Oh. Ah, I should have expected that. The thing is, I need your advice on, uh, is on my sister. It's about Cece. Lately, she's been sneaking off alone in the middle of the night. I don't think anyone is anything sinister, but the election is soon, and I don't want her any last-minute surprises to hurt her chances. So I'd like you to tail my sister, find out where she's going and what she's up to, and then get back to me. I tried following her myself, but she spotted me right away. I really got an earful about it, too. If you succeed in finding out what she's doing, I can reward you, of course. Neither one I ask for help. I don't want any of the villagers finding out until I know what's going on. Help me out, please. All right, well, that was a lot. And we have been doing this for a while. I don't think we'll get to Hyrule Castle today. I think I'm gonna do this. Sh there it goes. I think I'm gonna do this shrine. And then I'm gonna check out the house and then that's gonna be it. This has been really fun. What a crazy drama we just got dragged into. Way to get back up. Oh, here we are. It's pretty easy. Assuming there's a chest, but honestly, meh. It's probably underneath all of those balls, you gotta be honest. But, you know, they kind of just finished. I should have thought of that sooner. Nice. Well, yeah, I'll definitely make another video tomorrow of us going to Hyrule Castle, getting some stuff. Oh, there's another cherry tree. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm trying to post these every single day. My problem is I'm gonna be going on a vacation in like less than a week. So I don't know. We'll see. I like this glider though. It's really cool. All right. Someone's occupied my house.
Or was this my house? I guess it is my house. Oh. Uh -huh. Zelda's here. Well. So we moved in together is what you're saying? W Riz by Link? It's the flower lady. Horse. Can't tell what those are. Oh, that's cool. Let's read Zelda's diary. After the calamity, I asked myself how to rebuild. I set out across Hyrule in search of an answer. I saw collapsed buildings, lost cities. The damage was far worse than I'd imagined. But as I watched the people and heard their stories, I was convinced all was not lost. The people's spirits were not broken. They and their strong wills are Hyrule's greatest treasure. They are the ones who will rebuild my contribution and my contribution to their efforts will be to protect them while they do so. As part of Hyrule's reconstruction, we've built a school in a tenant village. Huh. It's the largest Hylian village and with its sprawling, bountiful land. There are so many children living here that it seemed an ideal place to found a school. I've recruited Simon from the Research Institute to teach there. He was Per's assistant for years. Oh, I remember him. Um which makes him well equipped to deal with the needs of quirky children. I'll be overseeing the school for a while myself to keep an eye out for the students. I commissioned Bolson, who has who taught his trade to Hudson of Hudson Construction to construct this school for us. He seemed deeply moved by the request, and this will be his final job in Hatena Village before he sets off on a journey. I had him I had a secret room to my house. One that won't appear on the plans. It's dim, but humidity and temperature controlled. So it's very comfortable. Huh. It's proven very useful when working alone and need to concentrate. Work on the school has been moving along smoothly, but a major problem has reared its head. We don't have enough time. We don't have enough teachers. Simon is interviewing people, but he hasn't found a good fit yet. I'd like to hire someone intelligent, educated, and capable of earning the children's trust. Nurturing our children is an extension of our duty to this land. We shape our future by the way we shape their path. I hope to see sterling members of our community come to this village and take up this mantle as their teacher. Oh, that's really cool. Now, if there's a room in this house... Ah. Is it the well? Tell it a secret well. A well-worn hairband. Huh. Zelda's diary. Though the calamity is owner, its scars remain. A mountain of problems stands before us as we began to rebuild. No matter where I go to offer aid, Link remains on my side. A kindness that has taken a visible toll on his clothing. That is why I put an order for a new and improved champion's tunic, just for him. I can't wait to see the look on his face when I surprise him with it. I'll hide it in the throne room so he won't find it until after our investigation. Oh. Even he would never expect that the torches are the key. The school. So is that a likes to draw? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I 
realize, well, this is still our house. Why are the lights on? Uh, oh. So is Zelda just taking over my house? Or is this still my house? Uh, oh. <sighs> I think that is going to be it, though. That was cool, going to Kakariko Village, Hateno Village, just re revisiting old places again. It really, it's, it's just interesting to see how this game has evolved in six years. The slight changes really, they make it really interesting too. So now we gotta go get Link's tunic and that'll be in the Hyrule Castle episode. And that should be coming out yet tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun. And then we'll also probably we'll do the Hyrule Castle and the probably some of the main story as well because today was really just exploring. <laughs> but yeah, that'll be all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Yeah, fly to the moon. I got no time to waste. Yeah, I feel like everything is on usual.